Hi, I'm Dustin with Athlon Optics, and today I'm going to show you two methods as to how to update your Kronos ATS thermal optics. Before you connect to the device's Wi-Fi, make sure your mobile device is connected to a cellular network. First, we're going to begin by connecting to the optics Wi-Fi signal. We're going to go in and turn that on. Once that's turned on, go to your mobile device and connect to the Wi-Fi signal. Right there we have Kronos ATS 50-400. You may see 35-400 or 50-640 depending on which model you have. Once we're connected, we'll go into the Athlon Thermal app. And in the upper right hand corner here, you're gonna see About. Go ahead and touch About. It's gonna kick you into a portrait mode and you'll see Check for Updates. We're gonna hit Check for Updates. And we can see here that it gives us an option to download. We'll go ahead and click Download and we'll wait for that to download. Okay, once your download is completed, go ahead and click Update. That's gonna transfer that new firmware into your thermal device. Once the transfer is complete, we're gonna go back to our thermal device. And you don't need to worry, you're not gonna lose any profiles you've created, any zeroing. Um, but we're, it is going to ask you uh, if you're ready to update. So go in there, make sure you select update and click the top menu button and let that run through the update. Once the update's complete, the thermal optics going to need to be restarted. Once the scope has been powered off and powered back on, go into your local settings menu and go to the about screen. When you're on the about screen, you'll see an ASIC number. You can compare that number to the number on our thermal firmware update page. If those two numbers match, then your update's complete. All right, guys, now I'm going to show you an alternative method to update your thermal optic. First, you're going to begin by connecting your USB-A to USB-C cable from your computer to your thermal optic. The optic is powered off right now. Just go ahead and leave it like that. We're gonna to go to the Athlon firmware update page. You can find that currently on our home screen. It'll also be on the uh, product pages. You'll always be able to find that. We'll scroll down to where it says update via computer. Here in step number one, we're gonna find the correct firmware package. For this, we're doing the 50-400. Uh, so we're gonna download the firmware package. While that's downloading, let's go ahead and put our scope into comm mode. To do that, you're going to hold your menu button and your power button simultaneously. Once you see the startup screen, you can release the power button, continue holding the menu button, and you should see a little icon in the bottom, about middle of the screen. That's going to tell you that you're in comm mode. Okay, now that your scope's in comm mode and your package is downloaded, we're going to go to that download package. Make sure you only download it one time. The, the file name has to be exactly as it is downloaded the first time. Uh, in this case, we're looking for the file ota-asic.img. We're going to take that and we're going to drag that onto our device. Our device on my computer is called Untitled. We're going to drop it right there. And it's copying over to the thermal now. Okay, once it's downloaded, we're going to go ahead and power off our device. And we're going to turn it back on. And when it powers up, it's going to tell you either your upgrade failed or it succeeded. In this case, it failed. We're going to go ahead and power the unit back off. And we're going to hold both buttons again to turn it back on. This is again putting it back into comm mode. Release our power button, continue holding the uh, menu button here. Okay, and we're back into comm mode. So we're just gonna go ahead and repeat that process. We're gonna drag that file that we've downloaded and we're gonna put that right onto the thermal again. Give it a minute to copy. Okay, once it's copied over, we're gonna go back to our optic. I'm gonna go ahead and unplug it and we're gonna power it off and power back on and we're just gonna wait for that message to pop up to tell us whether or not we succeeded. Now that you've transferred to your scope and you've cycled the power on and off, we're gonna go ahead and long hold the menu button 
we're gonna go to local settings, and then we're gonna scroll down to about, and we're gonna look for the ASIC number. If that number matches the number on our firmware update page, then your optic has successfully updated and you're good to go. Thanks for watching, guys. Athlon, ridiculously good optics.